Pat, what goes up keeps going up. Gold has hit another record high, just above $1,270. Analysts gave a variety of reasons for gold's new high, including increased demand for gold in India for the wedding season, and investors often turn to gold if the global economy is weak. Some analysts also pointed to the weak dollar as a reason to buy gold. And Pat, you have been a big proponent of gold here on the 700 Club. You know, I was talking yesterday, uh, our uh, Vice President of Finance uh, has certain funds that uh, we've been putting into various foreign currencies. And he said to me, what should we do? Should we move into Japanese yen? And I, I, I just don't feel comfortable with the yen. Uh, the Australian dollar's had a great run, but it's faltering. The same thing with the Canadian dollar. So where do you put your money? And, and I determined yesterday, without question, the place to put it's in gold. And uh, uh, it's just, it's true. I, I don't see any other way to go except with gold. I, I really, the, you know, the, the paper money just isn't worth anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you can see this headline in the Wall Street Journal, we, we had it, but there it is right there. Gold at a new high. A new high of $1,269. I said it was going to $1,850. <clears throat> it's on the way. There's nothing going to stop it. But it's denominated in dollars. Mm. If dollars are cheap, then the value of gold versus dollars is going to go up. I guess the question that a lot of folks have, Pat, is if they have not, if people have not purchased gold, is this the time now, or did you miss the boat if you haven't bought no, it? No, you haven't missed the boat, because, I mean, it could go, good grief, it could go to $6,000. Mm -hmm. Depends on the dollar. The dollar is just being trashed, and it's not going to get any better, because all these government programs have got to be paid for by debt. Where do they get the money? Taxes? <laughs> yeah, but they can't pass taxes because yeah. we got too many taxes. Hmm. So they're going to borrow it. So they're going to borrow it from foreigners. Foreigners are going to say, well, no way. So they're going to look to the Federal Reserve Board, and the Federal Reserve Board will, quote, monetize the debt, hmm. which means that they will play little games and essentially print money. And once they start printing money, the value of the dollar is going down. Yeah. The long-term trend of the U.S. dollar is down, and the long-term trend of most paper currencies is also down. So in terms of gold, gold isn't really changing in value. It's just being priced in dollars, and dollars are cheaper. So you'll get more dollars for your gold. Good to know. Well, I've okay. said this before on the show, and I'll say it again. If you have any extra gold bars laying around, you know. Yes, yeah. yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> you have been saving up your gold bars, haven't you? I don't even know about gold chips. Maybe gold dust. I got a little gold dust in the well, house. Gold dust <laughs> Hey, listen, we're going to have a little bit more fun. This is our time to answer your email questions. Literally, people have been getting on, on uh, log on to CBN.com as we speak to ask Pat questions. And the first one right. comes from David, who says, I would like to buy gold coins, but the price of gold is near an all-time high. Is this a good time to buy, Pat? Well, you talk about gold coins. I frankly don't know anything about gold coins. They're considered rarities, and they, the price is much higher. I, I, I have liked this, what's called bullion um, uh, coins. I've got some from the United States Mint. Uh, some years ago, when gold was about, what was it, $400, $500 an ounce, and that seemed high at the time, but I got all those coins, and some of them are proof coins. They're really nice. They're pretty, and they come in little nice blue boxes. And, and uh, Oh, that would be a lovely gift to me. Oh, <laughs> So, so when you feel somebody, like you want to give me something, oh, I'm telling you that I would be great. Sit around thinking, oh, if I could just do this. <laughs> oh, in any event, but a rarity, I don't understand it because they, they, it depends on dealers and so forth. So is this a good time to buy gold? Yes. Physical gold, bullion gold. But, you know, stuff like Kruger has, there's no much, I mean, a minimal premium maybe a couple percent uh, on a on a Kruger, a Kruger end. So it's the, it's the weight of the gold, the ounce of the gold, plus a little. Uh, but the, uh, that's especially that I, I can't comment on. All right, what else? Okay, next question. Oh, it says that here's a question from someone who wanted to rename, an, remain anonymous. It says, I'm thinking about uh, buying gold, but is gold a mistake? Doesn't the Bible say in James that your gold and silver are corrupted and will rust away? That's interesting. Well, We're it says neither your silver nor your gold will save you in the day of God's wrath. And if you want, the wrath comes, and uh, some uh, 
uh, asteroid comes out of the sky, I don't care how much gold you got built right. up, you're going to go. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't think so. But in terms of investment, I mean, what are you going to say? Uh, you, your papers is going to be good and your gold isn't? I mean, you know, the Bible isn't talking about investments. It's what it's talking about. Don't put your faith in material things. And I totally agree with that. Do not think that money is going to save you in the day of God's wrath. Hmm. Okay.